am at Kroger. I am about to get some supplies. Uh, I'm doing something very special, something I've been looking forward to ever since I decided to do Vlogmas this year. I'm bringing Norway to Ohio. Yes, you can't actually take a continent, country, however you want to put it, and put it in another place. And of course, Norway is a beautiful country, but it is not the country that I love it is the people and my friends that are there. And since I wasn't able to go visit them this year, uh, I'm going to do something a little bit special. I'm going to make Glog. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a alcoholic Norwegian beverage that uh, Christina and Michael gave to me when I came to visit last year, and I'm going to make it myself. What will I need? I'll need a bottle of red wine, a teaspoon of cardam, um, five whole cloves, uh, one large slice of cinnamon stick, uh, one two inch piece of ginger chopped, 12 ounces of sugar, uh, half of 750 milliliter vodka, three and a half ounces of raisins, and three and a half ounces of sliced almonds. This should be interesting. I cannot wait to do this. So I'm gonna go grab those items and then we're gonna go back to my apartment and make this. All right, so I'm home. And of course I would not deprive you of the hilarity of me trying to open this bottle of wine. So here goes that. I've got all of my ingredients out. Um, and then I've got the super awesome wine opener right here. Oh wow, that was, that was relatively easy. Look at that. Usually I have all sorts of struggles getting the wine undone. Alright, so I will post a link to this recipe below so that way if you want to attempt this, you can. And I'm really sorry about the poor lighting. My kitchen has really crappy lighting. This is the only light I have in here, so I apologize. Um, but uh, we're going to keep going. Let's see. So I need to heat the red wine. So uh, it says one bottle of red wine, so I assume that means do the whole thing. All right, so we're heating the red wine. What do we do next? Put cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, and ginger in spice bag and add it to the pot. Stir in the sugar until it dissolves. And I'm actually just going to mix everything in a bowl because, I mean, it's going straight in there anyway, so I'm not going to bother with a bag right now. Uh, this is the cardamom powder, which smells really good. Cinnamon. Now, the thing says one large slice cinnamon stick. And what qualifies as a large cinnamon stick? What might be large to somebody else could be small to somebody else. I mean, these are the ones I got. So is this big? Is this small? I, I don't know. Look those up into pieces. It says to slice them, but if I remember right, when Christina and Mike, I could be not remembering this correctly, but when Christine and Michael gave me some, they had just the cinnamon in there. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. And you know what? And I might even add another cinnamon stick to make it extra, extra cinnamony. We got the ginger here. The ginger needs to be chopped. Make sure you wash it first. And this is what I'm looking at right here. I'm gonna chop it up. That seems good enough for me. What do you guys think? Here's that, and I need to put this in with the cinnamon and uh, the other stuff. And boy, does this smell good. Um, so I had it. I had Glog about a year ago, but this is starting to smell vaguely from what I remember about it. And it says to heat the red wine slowly over medium high heat. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add these and then stir in sugar until it dissolves. I actually got a sugar substitute just for, you know, just to be healthy, but uh, I assume that it will work. So we're supposed to use 12 ounces of, of sugar. Actually, I'm going to use uh, probably about half as much sugar as what it calls for because I don't so I don't like a lot of sugar in my coffee and I don't like a lot of sugar uh, in my tea or anything. Um, so I, I really want more of the, the flavor than anything else. So I start in the sugar. Uh, remove pan from heat and let cool approximately two hours. Two hours? 
Add the vodka to the pan and place over medium heat. Heat until just before mixture reach boil. Add raisins and almonds. Okay. All right, so I guess I'll see you here in about two hours. All right, so it's been about two hours. I I debate with myself on whether or not that's like a real thing. I looked at some other recipes. Some other recipes said like 30 minutes. Some people, some recipes didn't have that wait time at all. Whatever you end up doing, comment below, let me know. Uh, I'd be curious to see what the correct way or if there's different ways to do it. Uh, but now I'm going to add the vodka. It says to add half of 750 milliliters, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Wow, that's really good. I came out really well. No, seriously, this came out really well. Uh, one thing I realized I screwed up, what ended up not being that big of a deal, was that the uh, the spices like the ginger, uh, the parademon or whatever it's called, and um, the cinnamon was actually supposed to be put in a, a bag, kind of like how you do a tea, but it ended up not being that big of a deal. Uh, so maybe what next time what I should do, I should try to uh, put that in like a bag or maybe even a strainer uh, just to keep from getting into it. But otherwise, this will make a drink for about eight. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy mine. What holiday beverages do you typically try to celebrate with? Tell me about your holiday traditions and what you're doing to make sure this is an extra special holiday season. Thanks always for watching. Bye.